I am delighted to celebrate the 15th anniversary of New Jersey's first and largest medical legal partnership, the Legal Assistance to Medical Patients Project known as LAMP. At its core, LAMP provides an additional access point for patients and clients to obtain legal assistance through New Jersey's legal services programs. LAMP's success over the years has been made possible with the support of a range of foundations within the health industry, including the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, Rutgers Community Health Foundation, the Medical Legal Partnership for Children, Merck Company Foundation, Pfizer, Bristol Myers Squibb, and the State of New Jersey Department of Health and Human Services. I have deep gratitude to David Mebbin, whose initial efforts helped forge and implement the policies, legal documents, and memorandum of understanding that serves as a model for the still growing LAMP project that we are using today. I am also very grateful to Dr. Cohen, LAMP's first medical champion, and Daryl Terry, who has also been with us since the beginning at North Beth Israel. The many other doctors, general counsel, residents, social workers, hospital staff, and others throughout the state that have helped make this program successful. I would be remiss if I did not add Stacy Bussell, who has been a tireless advocate on behalf of low-income people and on behalf of Ellis and Jay has been the director of our LAMP project for these 15 years. I started with Legal Services of New Jersey in 2008 as the directing attorney of our medical legal partnership called LAMP, the Legal Assistance to Medical Patients Project, and that is currently uh, still my position at Legal Services. When we started uh, for LSNJ, it was myself. Dawn was an integral part of the project, two paralegals, but it also had the efforts of a medical champion out of North Beth Israel, um, David Mebane, who is the general counsel of the hospital system, and Daryl Terry, the CEO of North Beth Israel. In 2006, I was the uh, senior vice president for legal affairs for the, for the system and I learned about a project at North Beth Israel Medical Center that had actually been started by Dr. Alan Cohen, who was then the uh, uh, head of the internal medicine residency program. I was involved with choosing Legal Services of New Jersey to be the, uh, the provider, uh, in large part because of the breadth of the expertise and statewide network of uh, Legal Services of New Jersey. What we've experienced in, in our 15 years is situations with uh, housing, situations where maybe there's a landlord that has lead paint issues and um, helping the patient navigate that has been very helpful. So we can uh, provide the medical care for that patient, but if they're going right back into that same environment, then it, it's some, somewhat counterproductive. So. There's been immigration issues, there have been payer issues with our, our clients, and um, it has really just been a phenomenal uh, resource for our employees because, you know, we treat the whole patient and we want to make sure that we are uh, comprehensive in that treatment, and sometimes it gets to a point where we, we hit a wall and LAMP has been able to help us break through. The idea behind medical legal partnerships is to really serve as an access point for patients, clients, patients. We are there if a client is getting blood work, if they're inpatient, if they're part of a clinic, you actually have an attorney or a paralegal on site. We've represented hundreds of clients, anything ranging from housing, benefits cases, Medicaid and healthcare um, denials and issues. Since the moratorium on evictions was lifted, LAMP has seen a huge increase in housing cases. So I can talk about so many cases. The one that comes to mind first is one of our first cases out of North Beth, Israel. It was believed she was at end of life, so we talked about doing um, health care, surrogate documents, her last will and testament, um, power of attorney, and things like that. Um, but LAMP is very much a holistic project. So for this woman, 
I became aware that she was denied Medicaid and she had a chronic lung disease that required, um, if she had insurance, she would be able to be placed on the lung transplant list. So um, at that time, I advised her to file for a fair hearing, which she did, and I represented her at the fair hearing in, um, in Lakewood. And um, almost immediately, that decision got overturned. Um, she got approved for Medicaid. And I think it was in a, a matter of weeks that she was able to get a double lung transplant. Um, and, you know, we still completed her other documents, but she really didn't um, need or they weren't as important um, getting her last will and testament and things together. Since she now got Medicaid, she got her double lung transplant. I'm not sure if, um, if LAMP hadn't started and hadn't started at North Beth, whether this client would have been able to receive her, her transplant. So I'm grateful and I know the client's family was grateful for our intervention. Following um, North Beth Israel, we added uh, Jersey City Medical Center, St. Joseph's in Patterson, Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick, and then uh, more recently, uh, Mammoth Medical Center and all children's specialized hospital locations. JC has also worked with our OBGYN department and she's worked with our social workers and taught them how to make the referrals. Um, she's also collaborated with me and one of our dietitians um, and then uh, done a lot of work around food insecurity so our residents know about getting access to SNAP and um, you know expanding the SNAP dollars. The list is very long and um, every, pay, every, uh, every story is, uh, is unique unto itself but LAMP has been instrumental in helping a lot of patients. When Natalie was um, three and a half, she was diagnosed with autism and the doctors were so nice to us. They told me to be part of this program, uh, Binder Autism, which is located in San Joseph, and they have parent support. And they tell you, you know, think about what's going to happen when your child is 18. You no longer will have um, a voice. So that's when I find out about guardianship and I say, how do I start this? And, you know, you re look out research and I say, oh, this costs so much money and this and that. And when I find out about the land program um, that represents legal services, I reach out to Richard and he helped me through the whole process. And he would made it so easy and, and for us that we just have to go to court one day and that's it. And it was done. Also, we are getting some um, SSI for my daughter. I applied um, back when she was seven years old. I went, um, they, they denied, they said she didn't meet all the criteria, even though I wrote all the doctor's papers and the school papers and everything. And I went to appeal. And when I went to the appeal, I went by myself. I didn't get any advocate. I didn't get any legal services. Basically they say, um, I'm sorry, but she doesn't qualify. And I said, yeah, but you know, I pay cash almost all the therapies because in the school, there's not much that they could provide. And by that time, the insurance were not uh, giving a lot of services either. So everything was coming out of pocket. So when the doctor asked me again, uh, why don't you apply uh, for that? And I said, I did. And they denied and they say, why don't you, you know, go to the services? And, you know, so we went to court and, then, you know, they had Natalie, they interviewed Natalie and, and I said, wow, I had to go with an attorney in order for them to see that this is real. This is what my daughter needs right now. So thank God for Richard again <laughs> and legal services that came in and helped us out. In the past 15 years, LAMP has um, done such significant, important work. The hospitals where we have partnerships are so integrated and invested in the communities that they serve um, that LAMP staff have been able to attend um, health fairs, do outreach in the communities, do outreach within the hospitals, really connect with patients from all over the state. We've also done outreach to local libraries and other uh, areas where there might be um, clients who are not familiar with legal services but have high needs. I really wanted our residents to know 
about uh, such services uh, when they go out into their own practices. So LAMP has really helped to do a lot of outreach and teaching our residents. Two of the LAMP attorneys came out and they did a session on domestic, abu uh, domestic abuse and then also, uh, you know, obesity related uh, issues. Um, and then uh, talking about all the ways that they can help our clients. And they did that through um, morning reports. So our residents present a case and then, um, you know, and then Stacy Bussell has helped to kind of tease out all the uh, needs of the patient and then taught the residents that we can help your clients uh, do this, this and this, and, you know, identified like four or five needs. And so it was very enlightening for our residents to learn that. The legal profession is very complex. Uh, the health field is very complex and ha having um, patients navigate the two of those uh, together uh, is, is almost impossible. So having legal representation to help navigate some of these complexities, uh, it seems like it should be uh, at every facility. I think one of the great sources of the success of this program has been the, the energy and dedication of the attorneys and paralegals and administration from, um, from legal services. We all have the same goal of ultimately improving and impacting the lives of their patients. So it's been such a fulfilling job. I've been doing this since I moved back to New Jersey 15 years ago, and I hope in 15 years we'll be in every county and every hospital throughout New Jersey.